My father had an interest in history. When I was 10 years old, he took me to an antique store and there was a box of daguerreotypes on the counter. It opened my eyes to really what is another order of photography that was inherently beautiful, but it was the first commercial system of photography. One of the very first things that were advanced was good for recording archeological information. Giraud de Pranger learned that it would serve his purposes. Uh, he was an architectural historian, and he conceived very early of a grand campaign, ultimately three years of traveling. His intention was uh, to document architecture of the ancient Mediterranean. The idea of multiple exposure is a brilliant idea. The simplest double exposure entailed using the dark slide, which would expose half of the plate. Once the subject was framed uh, in the uh, ground glass, the sensitized plate put into the back of the camera in position. The dark slide was drawn. The exposure was made by uncapping the lens, counting off the number of seconds estimated to be appropriate for a good exposure. The lens cap replaced. The dark slide pushed back again plate holder removed and rotated so that the top was at the bottom and the bottom was at the top and again the same process. The interior of the plate holder allowed for plates to be either vertical or horizontal and with various different masks and their various different draws uh, he could make every one of these different uh, uh, multiple exposure plates. I know of no earlier example uh, for field work of making multiple exposures on a single plate. And he certainly understood the potential of photography. We estimate that if he traveled with 500 whole plates, uh, that he made anywhere between maybe 1,500 to 3,000 exposures. It's a remarkable document of the Mediterranean world. Many of these monuments are altered or destroyed, and in many ways, this is the first of its kind.